Welcome to the Market Gallery in the St. Lawrence Market, one of Toronto's most significant and historic sites. This is a photograph of the former 19th century City Council Chamber, which is all that remains of Toronto's original City Hall that once stood on this site from 1845 to 1899. The mayor's chair and the beautiful fan windows that once overlooked Lake Ontario are still present. A photograph from 1899, taken when the last meeting of City Council was held in this room, gives a good illustration of what this room originally looked like before City Hall vacated this building for what we today call Old City Hall at Queen and Bay Streets. Located in Toronto's oldest neighbourhood, the St. Lawrence Market dates back over 200 years to 1803 when a Saturday market was established on the site of today's North Market as a place for farmers to sell their goods. The first market building was a simple wooden structure located on King Street East. In 1830, it was replaced by a brick building with an attached two-story structure to the south. There was an open courtyard for the weekly market, as seen in this image of a model which recreated what the building looked like. This market building was destroyed by fire in 1849, and the St. Lawrence Hall on King Street East was built in its place in 1851. Contrary to popular belief, the St. Lawrence Hall was never Toronto City Hall. The confusion may be because Toronto City Council met in the previous market building on this King Street site from 1834, the year the town of York was incorporated as the City of Toronto, until 1845 when the first official City Hall was built one block south on Front Street at Jarvis Street. This Front Street City Hall was a multi-purpose building. Police Station No. 1 was located on the main floor with jail cells in the basement. The council chamber was located directly above on the second floor, accessible by a staircase located in the entrance foyer. The council chamber, today in use as the market gallery exhibit space, was originally two stories high, with a balcony above the north end that served as a public gallery. An impressive view of the harbour and Lake Ontario would have been visible through the fan windows facing south, which today look over the main floor of the market. Across Front Street from this 19th century City Hall, a new North Market building which included butcher stalls was built in 1851 behind St. Lawrence Hall. While the operation of a public market in Toronto was a convenience to its citizens, it was also essential to regulate the slaughter and sale of meat within the city limits in the interest of public health and sanitation. Market regulations limited the sale of fresh meat to licensed butchers in the market. Cattle once walked Front Street. At the turn of the 20th century, with Toronto's population close to 200,000 citizens, the mayor, councillors and staff moved to the City Hall at the top of Bay Street. The Front Street City Hall was vacated and replaced by the South Market building that we see today. The cupola, pediment and side wings of the former City Hall were removed and a huge roof was placed over the entire structure. The council chamber was spared demolition but its floor was raised to allow for more height in the main entranceway below and the ceiling was lowered due to the intrusion of the new beams needed to support the roof. Other than some furniture and the paintings which were moved and are still in the city's collection, other furnishings, including the ornate ceiling, staircase, balcony and fireplaces, were removed and have since been lost. Altered almost beyond recognition, except for the Front Street Centre portion, Note the windows, arch doorways, and alternating stone and brick in today's facade. It has provided Toronto with a much larger weekly permanent market since 1902. In 2012, it was identified as one of the top 10 markets in the world by National Geographic. Meanwhile, across the street, a new North Market building was built in 1904, primarily for the Saturday Farmer's Market. Similar in design and with a corresponding roof line to the South Market building, a canopy connected the two buildings until that was removed in the 1950s. In 1968, the North Market was demolished and replaced by the present one-story building. Farmers still arrive early Saturday morning to sell their meat, produce 
and baked goods as they have been doing for over 200 years. On Sundays, more than 80 antique dealers fill the North Market displaying their treasures. In 1971, the South Market building was close to being demolished. The council chamber had been left vacant for close to 70 years, while the market on the main floor eventually fell into rack and ruin and did not meet fire codes. Fortunately, a public meeting later that year revealed tremendous support to save the building. In 1972, time and place, a group of Torontonians interested in the continuity of the city's life proposed that this historic building be renovated. As for the boarded up and vacant former council chamber, an appropriate and dignified use, such as a city display space, was suggested. In 1979, with the second and third floor renovations completed, the market gallery was opened. Today, the gallery occupies this second floor council chamber where exhibitions on the art, culture and history of Toronto are presented. The third floor houses offices, workspace for the preparation of exhibits including matting and framing, and a museum standard vault for the storage and preservation of the city's art collection. Hopefully you have enjoyed this brief history of Toronto's original 19th century city hall, the market gallery and the market buildings. Thank you for your visit to the gallery. We hope you also enjoy our current exhibit.